Imagine you have a tiny, invisible demon guarding a microscopic door between two chambers of gas. This Maxwell's demon, first proposed by physicist James Clerk Maxwell, could, if it existed, open and close the door to let only fast-moving, hot molecules pass to one side and slow-moving, cold molecules stay on the other. Over time, one chamber would heat up while the other cools down, creating a temperature difference without using any energy which seems to violate the second law of thermodynamics. This law states that entropy, or disorder, must always increase, meaning energy naturally spreads out rather than concentrating itself. But how could the demon pull off this trick? Wouldn't it require energy to measure, decide, and act? Modern physics resolves the paradox by showing that the demon itself must use energy for example, in storing and processing molecular information, so the total entropy of the system still increases. In a way, Maxwell's demon is like an impossibly efficient sorting machine, but just like any real machine, it can't run without fuel. Have you ever noticed how your coffee cools down but never heats itself back up? That's entropy at work. Ensuring energy always flows in the usual direction no matter how clever the demon might seem. Maxwell's demon is a thought experiment proposed by James Clerk Maxwell in 1867 to challenge the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy in a closed system always increases. It describes a hypothetical demon controlling a tiny door between two gas chambers, selectively allowing fast-moving hot molecules to pass one way and slow-moving cold molecules the other, creating a temperature difference without expending energy. If this process worked, it would seemingly violate the second law by reducing entropy and generating useful energy without input. If a fridge could cool itself without using electricity simply by sorting fast and slow molecules, it would resemble Maxwell's demon. It's like having a doorman at a club who only lets energetic people into one room while sending tired ones elsewhere, making one side livelier without adding energy. The second law states that entropy or disorder always increases in an isolated system, meaning energy spontaneously spreads out rather than concentrating. In natural processes, heat flows from hot to cold objects until equilibrium is reached. Maxwell's thought experiment suggests a way to reverse this process potentially contradicting a fundamental law of nature. However, modern physics shows that energy is not just about energy distribution, but also information and measurement costs. <laughs> a cup of hot coffee left in a room cools down, never spontaneously heating up, demonstrating entropy increase. Entropy is like mixing two colors of sand. Once mixed, you can't easily separate them without effort. In the early 20th century, physicists realized that the demon must measure particle speeds before deciding which ones to let through. Measurement itself requires energy and introduces entropy, offsetting the apparent violation. In 1961, Rolf Landauer showed that erasing information used in decision-making dissipates energy as heat, reinforcing the second law. The paradox is resolved by recognizing that information processing has thermodynamic consequences. A modern computer uses energy to process and store information, producing heat as a byproduct. It's like sorting a messy pile of papers. You must spend time and effort organizing, which compensates for the regained order. Landauer's principle states that erasing information in a computing system generates heat, implying that any memory-driven process has an energy cost. The demon, by keeping track of molecular states and eventually erasing old data, inevitably increases entropy. This proves that Maxwell's demon does not violate thermodynamics, but instead highlights the deep connection between physics and information theory. And deleting files on a hard drive requires electrical energy, which generates heat, just as the demon's memory reset would. Like a librarian constantly organizing books, the work needed to maintain order balances out any perceived entropy decrease. In quantum mechanics, researchers study whether a microscopic version of Maxwell's demon could exist using quantum effects like superposition and entanglement. Some experiments show that quantum measurements affect the system itself, reinforcing that observation has an energetic cost.
quantum thermodynamics confirms that while small fluctuations may seem to momentarily violate entropy laws, the overall trend always aligns with the second law. In a quantum experiment, measuring a particle's position disturbs it, similar to how Maxwell's demon would unavoidably impact the gas molecules it observes. It's like trying to measure a delicate scale. Your interaction influences the reading, preventing perfect control. Modern nanotechnology allows scientists to create experimental analogs of Maxwell's demon, such as tiny molecular machines that use energy fluctuations to manipulate particles. These systems show that while local entropy fluctuations can be temporarily reversed, an overall energy cost is always present. No real-world device can indefinitely decrease entropy without external work. DNA-based molecular motors use energy from chemical reactions to drive directional motion, mimicking Maxwell's sorting idea within thermodynamic limits. Like a water mill that captures energy from a river's flow, Maxwell's demon-inspected devices require input energy to function. Understanding Maxwell's demon has led to advances in energy-efficient computing, statistical mechanics, and nanoscale heat engines. Modern devices, such as reversible computing and single electron transistors, operate with minimal entropy production, drawing inspiration from the paradox. The relationship between information and energy continues to influence fields like artificial intelligence and quantum computing. Researchers explore computers that perform calculations with almost no heat dissipation, aiming for ultra-low power processors. Just as a well-organized workspace improves efficiency, reducing computational entropy minimizes wasted energy. <laughs> Maxwell's demon challenges our understanding of fundamental laws, blurring the boundary between physics and information theory. It highlights how concepts like entropy, computation, and measurement are deeply interconnected. The paradox remains a powerful tool for exploring the limits of physics and the nature of reality itself. Scientists use similar thought experiments to explore whether entropy plays a role in the emergence of time and causality. Uh, it's like questioning whether reality behaves differently when observed, revealing deeper insights about the universe. Ongoing research explores how Maxwell's demon-like mechanisms can be harnessed for practical applications, from nanoscale energy harvesting to bio-inspired computing. While true entropy reversal remains impossible, the study of molecular scale engines and thermodynamic efficiency continues to advance. Scientists develop tiny machines that extract work from microscopic energy fluctuations, pushing the limits of classical thermodynamics. Like learning to harness wind for sailing, researchers aim to control microscopic energy flows to improve efficiency in emerging technologies.